Hello and welcome to Salt Lake City. Today we are going to fly to Las Vegas and we are going to do so on Beyond ATC using premium voices. Traffic will be by the uh, fly-by-wire uh, traffic injector and uh, as such it is not controlled by Beyond ATC so it's all there just to add a bit of flavor. Currently it's night time in the US, it's morning in Europe where I am and uh, I set the sim time to much more or less the daylight conditions in Europe at this moment but the weather is live weather and with all that let's jump into the airplane and start preparing and as usual we are going to do so starting with the uh, Standby battery test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and just a bit of extra. Let's turn it on. Also, let's set the emergency lights to armed. I like to have a bit of floodlight even in the daylight in the longitude in 2D. Interestingly, in VR it's much brighter, might be because of the headset, of course. Landing gear lever is down, we can turn on the batteries. No takeoff. Okay, interestingly, the thrust lever was moving. I moved it just a bit and then back to idle. Hopefully it will solve this issue. So we have external power available, so let's use that to save the batteries. And while the system boots up, let's enter our flight plan. As mentioned, we are in Salt Lake City, so Kilo Sierra Lima Charlie flying to Las Vegas, Kilo Lima, Alfa Sierra. And we are going to depart using the Fairfield Niner departure from runway 17, hopefully. with the TAS system test okay as it it's me for minute what's Milford transition and we are going to arrive by Plan is to two six left, chow two, and I think it's two, but let me just check. Yes, two. And such short is this distance that this is our whole route actually. It's supposed to be a real world route, so no more waypoints, but still, let's check it on the map. And Brino as the transition. Oh, by the way, yes, we should be... I was planning ILS Zulu to 6 left, but... Of course, we might get another, and uh, knowing beyond ATC, we will get vectored. But let's set everything by the plans, and then, of course, if we get vectored, then we get vectored. All right, let's get back to the checklist. So battery is on, external power on, lights. Uh, 
passenger safety anti-collusion recogent pause for now and also let's turn the APU on and while the APU runs up let's do the performance calculations I've already set fuel and weight in the sim so we only need to enter the cargo we're using the usual numbers and the fob sync we should be having 4600 or so pound of fuel it always shows a little less even if it sh has shown more in the weight and fuel menu but we will only use about a thousand and nine hundred of it so no worries and with that we can do the take of calculations hopefully we can take off from one seven one oh six one oh nine or one twenty four And now that the APU is running, we can turn external power off. Let's have the yoke back. Trims. Let's set it to about 3.5. Landing elevation. I'm only going to do this once because the yoke is in the way. 2114 versus 2069 on my chart. Interesting. Hey, 80s. Let's listen to the 80s, which should be either 124.75 or 125625, and delivery is on 127.3, so 1273 and 127.3. Ceiling 8,500 broken. 16000 broken. Temperature 27. 2.13. Altimeter 3008. Landing and departing runway 14. 5 g notice in effect. Advise on initial contact you have information tango. Salt Lake City Airport information tango. 1500 Wind 120 at 11 gusts 21 Visibility 10 Few clouds at 4500 Ceiling 8500 broken 16000 broken Temperature 27 2.13 Altimeter 3008 Landing and departing runway 14 5G notice in effect Advise on initial contact, you have information Okay, so it's information tango and runway 14. We'll see if we can get 17. I know there was runway change in uh, uh, beyond ATC. I think it might work for the departure as well, but it could be only working for arrivals. We'll see. I haven't tried it yet. So right now let's get our clearance. Salt Lake City delivery, good morning. Citation Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November information Tango on board. Request IFR to Las Vegas. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November Salt Lake City clearance information Tango correct. Cleared to McCarran Airport. 
radar vectors Milford, then as filed. Maintain 8000, expect flight level 360, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.9er, squawk 0404. Cleared to destination, initially 8000 feet, uh, vectors to Milford, then as filed. Expecting flight level 360, 10 minutes after departure, departure on 124 decimal niners, squawking 0404, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November, read back, correct. Contact ground 121.9er when ready for starter taxi. Ground on 121 decimal niner, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November, goodbye. One two one nine R. Okay, so initially eight thousand. Walk set and departure was 124.9er. Let's put it on my notes. And yeah, we'll see about that runway change. Okay, we have 80s and clearance, autopilot on and Auto off, let's set it for now, flight level change and nav mode, we will not, do not know yet which uh, runway we will use and of course that uh, sets the heading. Okay, parking brake is set and let's ask for startup. Salt Lake City Ground, good morning, Citation Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November, request startup. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November, startup approved. Call when ready for taxi. Startup approved and we'll call you for taxi. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. Okay, clear right, clear left, starting engine number two. We have 32 psi, so. And two rising. Oil pressure, oil temp, internal temperature. Fuel flow will soon have a cautioning, but we will still wait for the numbers to settle. All aircraft be advised information uniform now. Current altimeter 3006. 3006. All right. Okay, clear left, starting engine number one, we do still have the required pressure. So, and two again, oil pressure, oil thump. fuel flow. And once we have the cautioning, most of our cast messages will be gone. Of course, parking brake is still on and no takeoff because of the parking brake and the flaps. Since we have the engines running, let's turn seat belts on as well. No wing lights not needed.
before taxi checklist, flight controls. Rather left, right, neutral, down, up, neutral, left, right, neutral, speed brakes, and retracted, flaps 1, and let's check the trim again, back to 3 point, I said 3.5, thank you. Okay, flight control is free and correct, and we also have checked the speed brakes and set the flap. Let's turn it back to map, and let's have the charts for the taxi. And I really do hope we will not need to taxi all the way to... One four, there isn't even a one four. What do you mean by one four? This will be interesting. Oh, there is a one four, but it's four thousand. 800 feet that's well technically should be enough for us but I really wouldn't I really would prefer one seven if possible Okay, flap set, altitude set, altimeter 3006 on both instrument, ice protection will not need it. Let's turn taxi lights on. And let's ask for our taxi and see if we can change the runway. Salt Lake City Grand, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November, request taxi. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, runway 14 taxi via Kilo, Kilo 5. Hold short runway 17. Taxi to 14 via Kilo and Kilo 5, hold short 17, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November. And no, there is no option to take runway 17. We're quite lucky that we are not flying anything bigger. Okay, let's check Kilo and Kilo 5. And okay, so basically we taxi just ahead. Okay, at least we can do that. So, parking brake released. Uh, go away, please. not make some really critical changes so procedure departure runway one four okay it doesn't even know that departure okay We'll leave it as is, and let's try to concentrate on the taxi. But that's why you have two pilots. And brains. I should have checked it while we were 
waiting. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, cross runway 17 at Kilo 5. Continue taxi via Kilo, Kilo 5, Quebec. Cross runway 17 at Kilo 5 and continue taxi via Kilo, oh, kilo 5 and Quebec. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Okay, next one should be Kilo 5. And it's indeed marked as Kilo 5. Very good. By the way, uh, Salt Lake City Airport is downloaded. It's a free version from flightsimpon.to. So if you like it, check it out. Uh, no. Landing right, clear right, clear left. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Contact Salt Lake City Tower, 13-2.65. Tower on 132.65. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Okay. So, Tower on 132.65. And departure was 125. Four niner. That's also set one four two as a heading. And by the way, according to the real life eighties, one seven is active. So, 142, let's make it a heading instead of a flight level change. And uh, before takeoff checklist. Departure. So flaps set for flaps one. Speed brakes are retracted. Trims 3.5. Ice protection will not be needed. 106, 109, or 120 
3 for the V speeds. Speed knob is in FMS mode. Crew is briefed. Radar pitot static heating will not be needed. Salt Lake City Tower, Citation Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November ready for departure. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November, backtrack runway 14, call when ready for departure. I'm already at the end of it, so... Tower, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November ready for departure. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November negative, backtrack runway 14. Backtrack runway 14, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. Don't get any more backtrack than this. And we will definitely go for a static takeoff. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November ready for departure. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November, Salt Lake City Tower, wind 160 at 14, fly heading 140, runway 14, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. No, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November cleared for takeoff, runway 14. Cleared for takeoff, runway 14, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. Alright. So, throttles. Releasing the brakes. Let's train on it out. 60 knots, 80, 100, we won. Positive rate and flaps up. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, contact Salt Lake City departure. Over to departure, Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. And that's why we have pre-selected it. Salt Lake City departure, Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, 6,500 feet, climbing 8,000 feet. And should be flying. Well. Hotel Alpha Lima. Mike November, Salt Lake City departure. Good day, radar contact. Climb and maintain flight level 180. Climb and maintain flight level 180. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Turn right, heading 190. Expect further clearance in about four tree miles. Turn right, uh, heading one, uh, say again. Negative, turn right, heading 190. Turn right, heading 190. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November. Oh, and we are well above 8,000 feet. And not 190. Okay, should be... So heading 190, 
autopilot. Let's get down to eight thousand. Come on. Oh, flight for level 180. We had that and that was still descending, so let's go flight level 180. After take off checklist, we are late with all those things. So landing gear is up, flaps are up, throttle is managed by the auto trust. I Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Contact Salt Lake Center one one nine or point nine or five. Have a good one. One one nine or nine or five. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Goodbye. Negative Salt Lake Center on one one nine or point nine or five. That's what I said. Center, Citation Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November uh, 17,000 fleet climbing flight level 180. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November, Salt Lake Center, climb and maintain flight level 360. Climb and maintain flight level 360, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November. So, back to the checklist. Pressurization is... I don't see it. It's not happening. Uh, once we will have suitable difference, it will start to climb. But I will try to keep my eyes on it. Altimeters are now standard. Exterior lights.
and APU off. After takeoff checklist complete, finally. Yeah, I don't know why we are flying to Delta instead of Urnov. But at least we are on the way. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November cleared direct Milford. Resume own navigation. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November cleared direct Milford. Resume own navigation. Direct Milford on navigation. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November contact Salt Lake Center 125.575. Center on 125.575. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. Goodbye. Center, Citation Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November, flight level 280, climbing 360. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November, Salt Lake Center, Roger.
OK. Since we are pretty high up now, so these clouds cannot really be water, I will turn the engine on the ice off. And also, since this is not a very long flight, let's check our arrival. So... We are going to arrive from actually uh, are we arriving directly from Cho? No, we are going to arrive from Stu. So Stu Rigo Alan and then Chow. No restrictions for Stu. We should be above 240 at Rigo. Indeed. Alan between 230 and 17,000. And Chow below 190. At is it 230 or 250? I think 250. Okay, then you're going to Bruno, so. Ciao, Wolf, Tattoo between ten, ten and a half and nine and a half. Carlos below nine thousand. Bruno at eight thousand and at two ten. Exactly. And then over to the approach. So mandatory 8000 lair at 6500. Shant 4800. Relin 3800. But let's make it an at. There was a 210 at Bruno. It is on it as well. Triple 11 5 for the ILS. And it is 132 decimal 4. Point zero seven. Altimeter two nine or eight nine. Landing runway one nine or right. Two six left. Departing runway two six right. Read back all hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information rule. MC Terran Airport information rule. One five one five rule. Wind two zero zero at five. Visibility 1-0. Sky condition clear. Temperature 3-7. 2.07. Altimeter 2-9 or 8-9 or. Landing runway 1-9 or right. 2-6 left. Departing runway 2-6 right. Read back all hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information rule. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, 
actually one niner right would be better for us as the G8 is just the end of it so I might ask for a different ar arrival or a different approach so if we can try it we will try it Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, contact Salt Lake Center 133.6. Salt Lake Center on 133.6, Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, bye bye.
Salt Lake Center, Citation Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November, flight level 360. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November, Salt Lake Center, Roger. And seems like in the on the ATC menu that there is a request arrival runway change, so let's try that. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November, request arrival runway change. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November, you've not yet been assigned an arrival runway. We'll come back with a descent clearance closer to your top of descent. Alright, fair enough.
Seattle Alpha Lima Mike November. Contact Salt Lake Center 125.575. 125575, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. Bye bye. The same where we came from. Interesting. Salt Lake Center, Citation, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November, flight level 360. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, Salt Lake Center, Roger. And we are about five minutes out from top of descent. Zulu. One five one five Zulu. Wind two zero zero at five. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November Salt Lake Center. Expect Chow two runway two six left. Expecting Chow two runway two six left. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. And now let's see if we can get a runway change. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November, request arrival runway change. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November, Roger, say runway. Request runway 19 right, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November, confirm arrival runway change 19 right. Affirmative. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. Roger change to 19er right approved. New instructions to follow. New landing runway 19er right affirmative. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November Salt Lake Center. Expect Chow 2, runway 19er right. Expecting Chow 2, runway 19er right. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Contact Los Angeles Center 124.2. Los Angeles Center on 124.2. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Goodbye. Uh, Los Angeles Center, Citation, Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Uh, flight level 360. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, Los Angeles Center, Roger. So, remove, okay. And arrival, runway, one nine right, Chow 2, and Stu. Load. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Descend via Chow 2 arrival. McCarran Airport landing runway 19er right. Altimeter 29er 89er. Descend via the Chow 2 arrival. Landing runway 19er right and altimeter 29er 89er. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Uh, 
Okay, let's set altimeter to and we enough this will keep us on the altitudes and uh, Okay, one nine right has RNP. Let's do that. And now uh, I guess we will have vectors. Let's load. Oh, and uh, let's see our new procedures. So Chow 2, we will go to Pen, so that's at, which is at 6000. Let's load it for now and see. Right. Why is there no... It's 2558, let's use that for now. change all those things in Navigraph as well so one nine right So we're coming in from Pan. Our data is six thousand. And two hundred and ten knots. Then Kiwi. And then three hundred. The 
these are different wavelengths. Interesting that I can search procedure. Let's see if I can go for an Absolu fan. Let's load that and then Kiwi and Mob. Now a lot better. 3900. Gimbal 3500. Pen at 6000 descending by the arrival. And I guess seat belts on, please. Runway at 2117. I guess it's 2114. Minimums 2558. That's set. We are descending to 6000, so I guess we can go back to 2998. Let's do landing calculations. 19 right. Use predicted weight. difference in the pressure one twenty three one twelve all right so checklist Pasteurization was checked, it's pretty close. APU can come on below flight level 310. Well, we are at 180, so let's turn it on. Altimeters. So altimeters 2989. Both instruments. Exterior lights. Not yet. Let's check if there's a new 80s. One, three, two. One, three, two. Come on. Two decimal four. One five, one five, zero. Wind two zero zero at five. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature 37, 2.07, altimeter 29 or 89 or landing runway 19 or right, 26 left, departing runway 26 right, repack all hold short instructions, 
But do I want to initial contact you have information Lulu? Okay, still Zulu. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, contact Las Vegas, approach 133.9 or 5. 13395 for the approach. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Approach Citation Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November 15,000 feet descending by the Cho 2 arrival to runway 19er right information Zulu on board Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November Las Vegas approach altimeter 29er 89er expect the R nav Victor runway 19er right via Papen Expecting 1-9-er right, we have Pepin, altimeter 2-9-er, 8-9-er, Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Okay, and it was Victor, Erna Victor, 9-er, 1-9-er right, so... And that's the one that's not in the charts. But if the sim knows it, then let's use it. So air nav Victor one nine right then Traffic is for flavor only, and now we are safely below it. However, we can still have a nice. No, we can get a selfie with it. I don't see it anywhere. Too bad. And GA parking does not have parking spot uh, numbers, so I guess uh, beyond ATC. All we'll aircraft be advised. Right. Information Alpha now current altimeter two nine or nine or one. Two nine or nine or one. One nine right, two six left. Departing runway two six right. Read back all hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information Alpha. MC Terran Airport information Alpha. One six one five Zulu. Wind two zero zero at five. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature three seven. 2.06 Altimeter 29901 Landing runways 19 right 26 left Depart
Okay, one niner right is one niner four as a heading. So one niner four. And since we do not have Erna Victor, let's see. Erna Zulu. Let's climb to 7000. Missed the approach route to Mottler and Hold. Okay, so it will be 7,000 for the missed approach. And seems like Erna Victor doesn't even have a missed approach route. So hopefully we will not go missed. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November cleared direct Papen. Cross Papen at or above 6,000 cleared R. Nav Victor runway 19 or right. Clear direct pen, cross pen at or above 6000, cleared Arnav Victor 19er right approach. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike November. Okay. So it's 3000 that Martuk, so let's set a 3000. Alpha Lima, Mike November, contact Las Vegas, Tower 119er.9er, take care. Tower on 119er, decimal 9, Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, goodbye. Tower, citation Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, information Alpha on board, Erna Victor, runway 19er right. Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November, Las Vegas Tower, wind 200 at 5, runway 19er, right cleared to land. 19er right, cleared to land, Hotel Alpha Lima Mike, November. what let's go FMS speed and flaps one gears down and why did we stop descending Okay, that's the reason, so direct. And uh, we can go VNF to 3000 using that. Oh no, you don't. I guess too many procedure changes does that to one. But oh, this is so annoying.
landing lights on, seat belts on. Let's go flaps two. I guess if we were flying this on uh, Watsim, we would not get Arnab's Victor. We have something that actually exists. Let's try and make up for all of our mistakes by and flying this part of the route. runway in sight. Of course, if we were doing it with our head instead of a mouse looking, we'd have the runway in sight for quite a while now. But let's try and concentrate on actually landing in a non terrible way. Continue. I think we are below where we should be. I don't see no puppy. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, exit right at Tango. Exit right at Tango, Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November.
Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, contact ground 121.9er. Have a good one. Ground on 121 decimal niner. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Goodbye. Ground, citation, Hotel Alpha, Lima, Mike, November, request taxi to parking. Hotel Alpha, Lima, Mike, November, welcome to McCarran Airport. Say parking or advise if need assignment. Well, we will see it, say... Allocated ramp is fine. Hotel Alpha, Lima, Mike, November. Hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November, ramp 15, tree taxi via Tango, Foxtrot, November, hotel. Ramp 153, taxi via Tango, Foxtrot, November, hotel, hotel Alpha Lima, Mike November. Tango, Foxtrot, hotel. I just don't know where November is. Could be there. There's November right on the north. Okay, let's go there. taxi line
Okay, we do have the welcome party there. So let's go there. Not too close to that building. So, welcome everybody to Las Vegas. It was quite an interesting arrival. Too bad about the circle uh, where the arrival and the approach met and that man sequence part uh, messed up the route for the autopilot. I do hope that even with this you enjoyed the flight. We had a more or less smooth landing to make up for it. I really enjoyed it and I will not be able to fly for a while now so we will have to make do with this video for now. Thank you for joining me this time. See you on our next flight. Goodbye.